the latest Godzilla. Um, I th- isn't it Godzilla versus Kong, Kong? Skull Island and Gongs. Uh, I literally Gongs. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> Welcome to these off-topic episodes. This is episode one, and um, yeah, <laughs> Ollie's visual is the physical representation of our moods right now. <laughs> <laughs> there has been probably a good almost two hours oh, straight oh, of technical great. difficulties, <laughs> and we're finally oh. at like half eleven recording an off-topic episode. Uh, but I don't know if I'm, I don't actually know if we're going to be calling this like playlist of episodes off-topic. We have a, we do have a topic for the off-topic episode. We're going to be talking about um, why certain like why there can't be global releases when they're you know just a US specific release. You know, Ollie, it's just. Chill. Anything this is the off topic. Be, anything that could literally just be a mainstream episode. So yeah, um, debate. Well, your main debate with it is what? What was the, <laughs> what was worry, the specific? I'm not, I'm not drunk. I'm just mentally exhausted. <laughs> he's just we're so, mentally yeah. exhausted, and he's the I'm physical representation exhausted. right now. So yeah, so, um, mental capacity. You know what? I don't give. <laughs> right. Let's uh, get. But to for it. you, it's so, um... yeah. The big debate. The big debate is so with a lot of things, and especially back in the day. Uh, when you'd get releases for like films, for instance, it would all be like simultaneous. We mean pre-COVID. Uh, yeah, pre. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it would all be simultaneous. Um, like I remember when End like, Volume Chain. I remember when Endgame came out, and that was pretty much the same everywhere. I think it was only like one or two countries that it came out like a day, a day or two before or after, but like. That's why the Russo brothers released that, and Josh Brolin and like some of the main actors, like Robert Downey Jr., released this whole thing of like, you know, don't spoil the end game, mm. sort of thing. And also f- for the same tradition of like, for those who hadn't seen it the day it was released, because that would have happened. Like, I remember there was a massive riot in a cinema queue because people came out having just seen it. The mm. people who were getting tickets to just go and see it, you spoiled it. That has been the issue there's a, when... There's a massive riot. But this is the thing, like, you know, I understand, absolutely. like, I don't have... I have, an, <clears throat> I have an issue with, like, um, that, but then, like, that's just... It's like food going off in your fridge. It's going to happen at some point, you know, come on. Well, it's even but bigger of it's an issue when, nowadays. It's when the company... Yeah, well, because it's when companies release... Mm. Yeah. yeah because people will thing. film people will illegally film scenes from these tv shows or films and then leak them online and they have multiple platforms to do that now they have tiktok they have snapchat they have twitter they have instagram they have youtube facebook whatever you want to, you know st- you know whether it's a spoiler through a meme of a scene that where a character says something and then you've got the subtitle at the bottom so that comment is spoiled mm. whether it's um photo photography of on set or during the episodes which state that okay this episode explained this of something or you know and then you're like now i you know that's why most people try and stay off the internet when stuff comes out but the problem is if something comes out in one country about two months before it's meant to come out in another Mm, that's when you get the whole issues. world's gonna the whole world is gonna know the moment it hits one place and then this is the like, thing with the inter- obviously i'm not like saying that the internet's you know a bad bad thing i just want to point out the fact that because of internet and social media and especially just with modern as soon as on demand became a thing as well that became a big issue with like finding out releases and when you know like you if whatever series you watch you know like you uh, you might have friends or family that might be like three episodes ahead or something because they're binging them and you're not or something. And that's been a big issue with social media is how do you stay on top of content or not? If your friends or family are staying on top of content and keeping up to date with the latest episode, if it's bingeable, like Netflix releasing an entire episode or ep- entire series, and then your f- friends or family or whoever you know not doing it, that's another issue to do with like the internet being a form of promoting or talking about being a communications platform, multiple communication platform, but with global releases like we're on about, 
you get this same issue because especially because of the internet in modern like 21st century because you just have people and especially when platforms that are based in the, U the like US based platforms Facebook and Instagram like Facebook Inc is literally um, like American platform obviously it's global so you're going to get people all over the world talking about something but it's just come out in the US and that's the issue and actually considering that at the end of the day all of this is from a business standpoint because obviously something is made in order to make money like they want to sell like you know if something's made for i don't know paramount plus disney plus you like facebook netflix like whatever well not facebook but whatever the streaming service is obviously you've got members paying the, for the service so the at the end of the day they want to make money back from the like the, in form of entertainment well, the, com the companies won't care hugely because all they care about is the money. But the problem is, is that you're going to, by doing it the way they are doing it, because of all the distribution... It eliminates like, like, the national, global outreach. It actually defeats itself, because regarding certain situations, you'll have films that are born and bred in America mm. um, produced there. And then because of that, they'll have early distribution rights. Yeah. So they'll have the they'll have those films or TV productions released on American platforms in American cinemas, way in advance to us over here in the UK. Annoyingly, though, for some conveniences, there will be people online who will you know film these things and then you know share them off to make profits, which is illegal piracy, and or they will do it because you know they can in their eyes. And yeah, exactly. somehow they don't end up getting caught by doing whatever they do. And then these end up getting leaked as codes known as torrents hmm. or, or torrent codes or whatever the technical term is for it. And basically, these are the pirated illegal copies that then get sent around. And some are really good quality, some are really bad from what I've <laughs> seen in the past from what I've heard. Um, but yeah. And then that's illegal sharing for a start. And then you've got you're dealing with that problem of the piracy, hmm. um, which a not only the, is a crime, the internet's made but that also, issue. Yeah, yeah, it's not only a crime, but then, yeah, no one's paying for this stuff. People hmm. are getting it. And then the problem is when it comes out in these countries, no one's going to want to go to the cinema to watch something because <laughs> they would have already seen it in perfect quality because the Americans would have leaked it because hmm. it's the same language. Or, you know, vice versa, if it's a UK film distributed in the UK first or an American film that gets distributed in the UK first for some reason, uh, or, you know, vice versa, it's going to be the same situation. Someone is going to get hold of that footage, leak it hmm. correctly. And then once someone from another party elsewhere has watched it, you're going to have less people, you're going to have less cinema goers, you're going to have less people signing up for subscriptions with Disney Plus, Paramount Plus, because they would have just seen it for free elsewhere. Exactly. Think companies. Who well, will release? What we will have make the whole world talking May, about again, it Maybe we are seeing. We are. Maybe we're not seeing something very minor. Actually, the only thing I can think of is literally just country-specific restrictions. In some sense, I, that's the only thing I can think of as to why this may this may exist. Like no non-global releases. But from a financial standpoint, business trying to make more sales, trying to get more engagement, more people. Well, it's like what they do with TV shows, it. isn't it? Because you know how they release, like, with the well, with most TV shows, like especially with Disney Plus, they're bringing it back now. The whole one week, one episode a week sort of thing. Hmm. That's like that's like how a film company does it, where you've got like one film that comes out one month, and then next month it comes up somewhere else. And month after that comes out somewhere else exactly they, they'll do it more like in weeks won't they because they won't have anything split too far apart that the only lo the only logical thing i can think regarding doing it this way is that you'll have the whole world talking about it on stop but you'll have different parts of the world talking about it at different points forgetting that no one cares about talking about it they care about seeing something and not being spoiled mm -hmm. problem is the moment you release it somewhere where it can easily be translated so if you release it in America, that means the UK audience is going to be spoiled. You release it in the UK, the American audience is going to be spoiled. All the English-speaking continents. If it's like you know, the French copy, then and we get that. The only thing that will get spoiled for us is the footage, because we won't understand what they're saying. 
unless you speak French, which I do a little bit. But... Yeah, the only two things <laughs> are actually the only two reasons for some for content to not be distributed, other than a- anywhere globally, other than its domestic country, is purely for deliverables. So if you know the company and the deliverable, whatever company works on, you know the um the different languages, the different audio audio and captions if you know they can't be done to until a specific date fair enough but surely if you the cost if it costs you an extra hundred thousand dollars for instance if it's an american release to get something you know ready in an extra 50 languages but you're you know you're going to make 70 million from this surely that's a no-brainer so unless well yeah if that was me if that was me i would have held back I would have held back and then made sure I got every variant, mm-hmm. you know, of the, you know, every language variant, all compatible, all linked, all lip synced correctly. If I had to change things for certain countries, we just make sure every country is ready. Then I would have done just... every one is ready. And, you know, even if that means, oh, we've got the UK, but we've got the UK, we've got the US versions ready, but we're going to have to postpone those because otherwise, if we release those, it's not fair for these other countries. That's that's understandable. That's completely fair and understandable. I get that. It's annoying when we look at it from our perspective. But mm-hmm. then imagine how they'd feel if it's the same thing. It is the same exact same thing, you know. And then once they release it, they release it all on the same day. The only other annoying thing is is that obviously the clocks work differently, which is something you got to consider as well. So America might get it like you know. Well, I don't actually. You might want to go into this because I don't really know. Well, I mean, terms. even I so, there's one part of the world that will get it like release. a day before the other. Like, but even, because that even to global them, that's releases, that day. of course, twelve hours first. Like, yeah, even global releases, of course. If a global, like, for instance, um, any global release, typically there's going to be a few days, maximum like two weeks. We're not on about the issue. We're not on about like things that have like a two week or even up to like a month, a push, a month difference between like one country and another. Typically, like U.S. and U.K. release. Obviously, like the other con- other continents and Asia, other type, other continents like Europe and Asia might have slightly different. Like I know India, for instance, one of those countries like India and Singapore, I think, are like two unfortunate countries. I always see it on IMDb. Their releases are like five months after everyone else but for the most part global releases are typically within like two to four weeks then i know yeah (laughs) it's typically like you know january releasing for like india it's like may and it's like i'm so sorry for you for for them all these torrent codes are like you know that's like ice cream before bed you know you're a kid you've got your nightmares your parents pay for the food you don't do you don't even earn it you don't earn it, you don't deserve it. You're just a scared little child. You get the ice cream and spoon fed to you or whatever. Like, you know, you didn't work at all for it. And that's the problem. The internet has made that, made things almost feel so free these days. Like, people have that attitude, have that mindset to make that. And they'll go out and find that. And there'll be people that are considerate, well, considerate to them in a way, as they'll see it, to be able to go and do these things. To go into a cinema and illegally film a film, oh, it's just made to it so download access, to download and share a copy issue. from a streaming platform, mm. or however they do that. I don't know. I don't know how they get it like perfectly crystal clear. For me, that I, means feel, they I watch, don't they understand how. I mean, I know how. I don't get it. I know, obviously, how someone literally will go in with like a with basically a camcorder and secretly film in like a backpack, I guess, and then film the screen. That's been the typical like modern pirated movie theater thing and then they upload it to some sort of like what are they like the pirate pirate bay like torrent sites and free movie sites and they'll get that but then i have no idea we don't endorse using that by the way as you can probably well i mean it's literally giving out content that is on sale for it's literally theft so there you go um, but I don't have a clue how they remember do. when you were growing up and you had those DVDs and it would at the beginning of the DVD. This is probably more for the UK fans, really. Yeah, but you'd have those DVDs and it would have said, like, you know, had that music. Right, 
really grungy piracy text. is a crime. Yeah. Highly, piracy is stealing. You wouldn't steal a handbag. You wouldn't steal toothpaste. Yeah. Whatever the, you know, that. Yeah, I remember that. You wouldn't steal a phone. <laughs> they made that yeah. so perfectly unique, didn't they? It's like in the 2000s. You need to add that. <laughs> you need to have like a cut moment and just add that footage on if you can. Unless that's copyright, of course. <laughs> Unless. You know. But that's, yeah, I Triple have no reverse idea how they do it. Psychology. But ob- yeah. Like, they obviously go from as soon as the thing is, I mean, some, like, things, they just immediately. Advert as as... scared me. <laughs> yeah, it was quite cool. It's the music at the end. <laughs> yeah. It's the music at the end. Like, I'd go to bed and I'd put a DVD on and that trailer, that advert, that advert would like come up at the beginning and yeah. I'd hear the music <laughs> and I might like switched off and then it would be like it's that ending part like you know where they have the you, you hear the jail cell like close up mm. you know <laughs> and then it goes black and I'm like <laughs> Jesus <"Gonna> <laughs> yeah but yeah the issue with pirating is that it's become so much more accessible I have no idea how they get like the full H the, the, the original file of the film like <laughs> <To> me that <laughs> projection to, me, I don't it even... to Facebook <laughs> To me, that would that almost feels like they've gone into the projector room of a theater and download and like somehow linked the projector, they linked the mm. file on the projector to their phone and downloaded it from there. But the the projector still has the film file or whatever the you know. I have no idea who gets in. And that's the only, it to a site. You know, I mean, obviously, I know how you upload a file to a website, but I don't know how you can physically get the file because I mean. Because the there's no way that someone would walk in. Hard drive there's no way server. that someone can film so. unless they've got a really good camera and like you know, fucking well, diameters. The, the what? Any pirated material that is literally the like original source, the actual video file. Like the only for because I mean the, the way movie theaters get the file is either they connect to like a server during the re, like the release of the film. And during that time, they get, like, sp- I think specific codes, access to those servers. They download the file to their own, like, cinema server, that, that local drive, and then they just play the file. Mm-hmm. Or each cinema, I, th- I think, like, the bigger cinemas do it over a server, but smaller ones get, like, a physical hard drive, plug it in, download it, and play it. And then who gets that, and who uploads it to one of these, like, pirate bay places, like... Who are you? Go to jail. <laughs> you I'd like to... to go to jail, please. Like Five-star prison. <laughs> Two, 20, week, 20 years to life holiday. What? Whoever, fuck, fuck, whoever consciously goes to like upload films and TV shows... Yeah, thank, you. thank you for ruining the industry. But at the same you time... Cost the industry... Yeah. Probably tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions, and of sales because there are some people that will find the site and watch it and do anything for free. But we want to go to the theatre. We want to. We we want the proper movie experience. Especially, I'm a Nolan fanboy. I and he goes like, you experience it in IMAX. There we go. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I was just explaining the fact of why I would go to the IMAX or wherever. Saying Nolan's bad is just that you talk about him like he's your whole world. <laughs> what about me? What I'm about joking. me? <laughs> but yeah, the global releases thing is something that I don't understand. And unless literally the company phys- the company doing your deliverables with captions and language, like specifics of language options, unless they're physically busy until a certain date, then fine. But if they're busy until a certain date, then don't just release it in your country. Even if it's going to take six months, just pre- postpone the release. Let that country be patient. If it's a US release, only. I think there's a new Mark Wahlberg film. It would, if, yeah, coming out. with the whole... And it's already out in the US. Gone. And it's coming out. Like, there's, a, there's a Mark Wahlberg film. I think it's called Infinite. And I believe it's already out in the US. And it's coming out in the UK in, like, September. And that's one of the most retarded things I could have ever, like, read. Is yeah, 2021. Uh, so it, we have to wait three months. By then, someone would have probably made a perfectly 4K. Here we go. Yeah, brilliant surround sound torrent code for it. I don't know if that's there. You go. As if that's it was an actual theatre of performance. Um. So I I I, I know see that. that. 
Uh, release date for in, uh, for Infinite, Mark Wahlberg film. Canada and the US get it on June 10th. Australia, everywhere else in so the world. August, September, October. We, we, we literally get it two months and 29 days later. For what Even reason? A UK very... Yeah. Because the thing is, they, they, are limit, they aren't... Multiple edits will be the exact same. All the English language ones will be the exact same. The English, the UK variant, the US variant. Any the, other language, you know, Canadian, fair enough. But Canadian, Austra- so. Canadian, Australian, all those ones. Mm. Uh, you know, Northern Ireland, you know, just, you know, national stress, international stress, distress language. Mm. You know, fucking. Yeah. yeah. Any language. All of those variants. I don't know why I keep using the word variant. Thank you, Reggie. Um, all those versions will be the exact same mm. actually like you might as well just release all of you know all of those in all of those countries at the same time because wait until you have all what's of them the di- then release what's the difference yeah are you extending scenes are you cutting scenes are you adding something in a different variant in an australian variant to make it less offensive well, towards see, an accent or you're something? addicted to the like, word what? variant because of loki i, I just think of covid <laughs> <laughs> You said variant. I literally, about once I literally every did read season. something earlier. I was like, the, is the Delta variant or whatever this new one is? The Indian Delta, Delta variant. variant. Yeah. Yeah. And Delta. But what did I say? <laughs> and I literally thought they'll, they'll call the next one Loki as well. Loki variant. <laughs> the, Loki, the Loki variant. Oh, God. But, um. Don't yeah, but releases have been. This, we, the off topic episode has become the main topic of discussion. Um, uh, the, the top the topic of discussion has become the main th- part of this off topic, but this is, I guess, it's because. And I finally got episode. my lights, so I finally actually look semi semi good. formal and decent. So that's a great meme for a so called informal off topic video, which First probably off-topic. won't be now. But yeah, these are um a random episode to uh, share your thoughts as well on what you think about global releases because maybe we're completely wrong, and please give your opinion shed some light on the topic because we think it's retarded that if you can unless even if you are waiting for all of the other languages to be available for that that show or that film at the end wait yeah. until they're all ready because at the end of the day like the end of, i was having an argument well it wasn't really an argument but it was like a debateful conversation with my nan about like how you know um the industry will suffer in time and and now because of how internet is like mm. you know how all like the internet and computer is like how it will suffer quicker than it can probably comprehend yeah. to believe because once all these films get released separately in their separate respectful months and weeks and years in their respectful countries and it's all spread out there's no close semblance or anything like that, like what you just said with the Mark Wahlberg film being released here in September. That's three months away. Mm-hmm. Is there a date, specific day? Yeah, we get it one day off of three months. Literally two months and 29 days. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Which is Yeah, that. so let's put it this way. The copies, the versions that are already going to be released in those countries are already going to lose a fan base from the UK because... There's going to be somebody out there who's going to get access to a torrent code of that when it's in good quality, okay. which probably won't be very long in the wait in the waiting in the making. Then you will lose a good portion of your audience who would have watched it for free. Uh, what they would have watched would have been a illegally pirated version of that released in that country mm. at that time, and. And the footage will be shared, then it will be translated, maybe not exactly correctly to the edit, but it will be translatable easily um, to other languages, which means the scenes will be spoiled in other countries, even though they don't exist technically yet. We'll be looking at a global (laughs) pandemic of spoilers, pretty much. And then you will lose... You, There will be people that will still go see it. Yes depending on its, like, goodness. But hence why they would have even gone out their way to watch, illegally watch these torrent codes. Mm. But annoyingly, because that's accessible like that, 
you'll get people that want to save money and do it that way. And you'll get people that do it anyway at the end of the day. Yeah. But that can't be prevented completely. The issue that's is a war that that's a war that will never is. end. Annoyingly, that is a war that will never end. You will always the have someone is... who successfully pirates a film or a TV show and it leaks online. Yeah. Now that all They'll these things exist, it. yeah. it's inev- it's inevitable. But the problem is, is that well, it's not really the problem. The solution simply is just release it all on the same day. Mm-hmm. Everywhere. Otherwise you end up with issues like that. Yeah. Because otherwise this will literally destroy the industry. It will destroy streaming platforms. It will, de- it will destroy actors' careers. All the people it that hasn't go even to been the first time tea the lunch, the co- all the tea, the lunch, the coffee, all the production crew. You know, the guy who takes out the bins at the end of a film production where all whilst they're on film set shoots elsewhere, they will all be out of a job. Because you, dis- you as a distribution resources company or whatever the you know hmr revenues or whatever like you will go out i don't know why my mic changed you will go out and you will decide that we are releasing it this way we are distributing it this way and the problem is is that it will all be spread out and there won't it will easily get leaked and spoiled someone will do that loads of people watch it and then no one's going to watch it really at all are they and it, it, it you know the way they're meant to hey on a paid in a cinema paid for it or streaming service paid for it. And you also with that in time, if that becomes a recurring factor, you will get less subscribers. You will get overall less cinema viewers. And then obviously people will lose their jobs. Yeah. Sorry. (laughs) I had to cut what you said. (laughs) I have to preempt the fact that I'll be cutting that. You went on one. (laughs) You went on a micro rant. I went, and then without yeah, thinking, you said something. I was, like, yeah. I was like, "Oh, you just said that." <laughs> um, so um, did I say? Are you wait, wait? Yeah, it was. Um, and then you'll end up something like that. <laughs> For fuck's sake! <laughs> so I had to cut that. Oh. Right, fine. Anyway, well, I was trying. I was trying to make a laughing point out of the fact that you know. It's true though. It when is true. Like on and, shoot. Um, when they're on shoot, they're in caravans. We are making quite a dramatic yeah. point of it because it's, it's not been the first time it's happened in history, but it's a good point to make. Just the fact that if you can't release everywhere yet, wait until you can, so you can make the. Because this will be the this will be the consequence. I know that there's not going to be a film director in hell, or you know, a person in charge of any of these companies, Disney or you know Fox or well, Fox technically is Disney now, isn't it? Or you know. Kevin Feige or any of these people who are going to look at this and think, oh, yeah, they've got a point, actually. We're just two random guys who are doing podcasts. But for anyone with a brain, anyone making an independent film and wants to re- and wants to distribute it, think. Don't have your film spoiled. Don't have your film leaked. Don't have your film torrented, <laughs> you know. And the less, even though it probably will happen, you still well, want to earn money. The one it. thing I just, just release thought... it internationally, globally, concurrently. Together. The one thing I just thought of that I do um, sympathise with um, is that if there are, like, especially mainly because you went you went into independent uh, films a bit more. If there is an issue with your like distribution across more than just say two or three countries, then you know try your best to distribute it as globally as possible if that's your goal but uh otherwise you know just you know if it's going to be just a british only release make it obviously specific if it's only going to be for british audiences because it's any place you can get it but typically for independent people it's going to be on a platform that is already global distribution because it's normally youtube vimeo or anywhere but if you are like an independent and you're able to get it on like amazon or netflix then you should at least try your best with getting it onto as many, as, as global as possible, and as many like countries as it allows. Because otherwise, if it gets the a good audience, if it gets good feedback, then you will, you know, be able to get a wider reach by having it get reach more people around the world. Because, and again, I got, jump back to like Mark Wahlberg's Infinite film. Um, it's a like. Why do we need to wait three months? 
because if it's for a language, it's gonna be the, it's gonna be the same. It's gonna be the same edit, right? It'll be so the difference. I I don't know what they're waiting for. It's all to do. It's all to do, and I expect someone will say this in the comments as well. It's all to do with distribution rights. I bet Carl will probably go on the comments or something if he <laughs> proves distribution yeah. rights. And we that would be the main issue, and that was the only issue I thought about. The like, there's there's a distribution couple. and exhibition right exhibition right. It's the I, only I prop, the only. Yeah. I can think of a couple of reasons. Like I said, if the language like like captioning language reasons. Um, but obviously the main thing being distribution and exhibition rights in certain countries, country specific rights. That's the only thing I can think of as to why our debate can be um, the only like reason to shut down our, our argument. But otherwise, other than that being, that can be quite a big one. But typically there is not normally an issue with distribution rights because most like it, it's typically to do with like age ratings and things and what's allowed and what's not allowed. And that's normally sorted out in the age rating stage. And yes, there can be a big issue with age ratings. I mean, we went to the uh, BBFC, British Board of Film Classification, uh, during our college time. And we learned a lot about age ratings in like two hours. But um, oh, it, literally being sat there, I actually kind of wanted to work for them. But at the end of the day, working for the BBFC, you're literally sat there watching new films and deciding what rating they should yeah and what rating they should have because it's not only are you sit, not well. only yeah not only are you can well, having to sit tedious. there probably watching films that bore the hell out of you like for instance they had a hell of a time you know doing it for pirates and adventure of a scientist the sort of broader line Ardman dreamworks film because there was a scene where a character's arm got chopped off and they thought it was too graphic because that made it a 12a or a, that made it a there was that and a couple other scenes that actually made it at 15. And they were like, well, no, because the average audience for this who's going to want to see this is a 12A. Exactly. You can't make it at 15 mm. because 15-year-olds 15, 15 aren't going to want to watch this. Boring. Childish. So, and then the problem is they still wanted to keep one or two scenes in for logistically. But it became a 12A and they were like, well, 12As aren't going to want to watch this either. 12s or 12As aren't going to watch this. So they had to then take a lot out, rewrite a few things. Um, for the luckily, what was said was said off screen, so it was just heard. They had to just tweak a few things, and yeah, they kept in one immature adult joke about. Um, I think it was something to do with like they were an event. They were in some inventions, like scientist inventions, like conference award winning thing or something like that. And there was like a specific type of hot air balloon. And there was a comment about like it's for men looking down ladies' tops, like the part where you know where the binoculars are on the sides of the basket, or something like that. It's like that's the only adult joke they could use. Hmm. Something. I feel like we've gone a bit off topic now, but like yeah, yeah just gone like, to talk about BBFC jobs. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's like it's like things like that would is what you'd end up like having to do. Just and you're just watching it all day and just like yeah, and I was like, yeah. but um, I, I don't know if I could. As much as I love films, I don't know if I could like sit down. A bit of a tedious watch, process like, 20, for me to like watch, all day. typically watch stuff want, that doesn't interest me. I want a life. <laughs> I want a life. <laughs> but um, that's the distribution. That's the distribution issue anyway. Global release issues, and um, yeah, it's a it's a annoying subject because it can mean that you don't get your film you want to see for like six months sometimes as long as that but it's just down to distribution rights half the time and then the rest of the time come on what's the reason why can't you release now but um let us know what you think below anyway um but yeah off topic episode one um top this isn't necessarily the end i don't know where we're going to go from here but um yeah, and if you want to add anything to what we've been saying, feel free to leave a leave a comment in the comments. That's what they're there for. Or um, hit us up on TikTok or GTVs. <laughs> or just our Instagram page Anybody where you'll watch? get updates yeah. about all of our Anybody videos watch? coming out and all that all that bollocks. And we'll catch you probably for our next main one. Well, I, I want to which, just leave talk. Yeah, which, which, these are going to be weekly. Yeah, because uh, there's uh, let's, let's talk about content schedule for a bit. Um for, for a no minute. One cares about, no one cares about. 
Sorry, guys, you can go home now. Um, well, okay. Do, so but the, they the don't. Off topics will be. This is why off topics are off topic because. Um, off I don't topic. Care. <laughs> well, okay, these are going to be every week, like the main episode you get. Episode, I think, 20 just came out for you guys. Um, or 19. Depending on, when, depending on the timeline of when this comes out. Well, I'm, this I'm week, um, r- the week we're recording this, well, literally the changing night of the week is going from a Sunday to a Monday. The week beginning we're recording this is the end game video, I believe. So depending on if that's coming out, probably came oh, yeah, out last week to, for oh, you. I need, yeah, I need to give you the thumbnail. Oh yeah, <laughs> you've got unless you've got one. I look like I've been crying. I'm not. I'm literally. You're just exhausted. done with tonight, but um, I'm just exhausted. We do obviously Loki episodes at the moment. This is I don't know, again whenever this is out. You've either watched episode three by now, review and what do you think of episode three? If this most likely won't be out before episode three, um, I'm probably going to say something that isn't so much a spoiler, but it's so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know at this point because I haven't seen it, but like, it, I, it's Marvel, so you loved episode one and two. Me too. I loved one and two. The only thing I didn't like about two, and I said this in that video as well, was just the beginning part. But if you want to find out more, go watch episode two. It is out now because in this timeline, episode one and two are out. <laughs> in this timeline, <laughs> we have in like this timeline of this video, fortune theory authority, yeah. <laughs> the TVA, don't. <laughs> the, the FTA, FTA, the FTA. <laughs> we are the FTA, and um... Owen Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> it's so impromptu and loud. <sighs> but we have bonus episodes. We want to continue bonus episodes. We'll probably continue doing what we might exchange. Actually, Ollie, I think this might be a good idea. Is the um <laughs> just close your eyes and think. It's fine. You can talk while your eyes are shut. Um. He's, he's dead, he's out of it. So, the bonus episodes are probably going to become live reactions. Well, not live reactions. But we're going to be doing some TV, some film reactions. I cannot... Can you at least open your eyes? Because it's painfully... <laughs> it's painful trying to explain stuff. And I'm the only one here in a, in, in a weird way. Um, we're going to be watching, doing a live um, reaction of the Tomorrow War, which is a new Chris Pratt film on Amazon Prime from, when does it come? I think it's July 12th, I might be wrong with that. But we're going to talk about that probably after it. And also, when does it come out, actually? I know that what we're going to be doing a live we're also, that. We're also going to talk about, um, we're going to be having some more videos specifically on older films as well. like Because... We, a lot of the topics that we're trying to get into now, obviously everything that's new and present and current, but we love to talk about old stuff as well. And obviously, yeah. like we said on our like first videos of what the channel was going to be about, it's all, it's all not just talking about films, but also talking about what we would have done um, if we made it, because we are like, don't want to put ourselves down, but we're like this sort of average, mediocre filmmakers. But we try and be better. We force ourselves to be better. If you want to see some of the stuff we've done... Because we've not done um, anything good yet. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, we've just not done Prime it. Prime Video, Employee Ninety One, wasn't our best thing, but not it was good at all. Start. And yeah, I, we're trying to make a better version of that, which is not as long, but or maybe it could be. I don't know, but I won't say it is longer because I don't want to bore people if they don't like it. Anyway, yeah, never mind. Oh. All our old videos are actually deleted because they're off our old channel that like no longer exists. Interested in seeing a copy of that? We can probably get a private linked YouTube video. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> um, the episode will probably the episode on the tomorrow will probably be the two parter because obviously we'll do a reaction video, watching it, and then we'll either do talking about it legally, like... legally watching. Well, it's it. coming on Amazon Prime on when is it coming out? Uh. Release date July second, I think. I guess that July second. So July second, we're legally allowed to watch it. So we legally will be watching it, <laughs> and we will legally do a you review. Like we just <laughs> nothing but <laughs> you. That's all we do. <laughs> but that is coming out then. That'll be our first reaction. I did just look at it and a bit blurred I only... out and scenes cut. 
So we are not yeah, illegally streaming all of it on YouTube. And not like all these people that just don't know how to do stuff properly. Because no one wants to like I get people want to do like live watch parties and things and like, you know, they don't care. But I don't want to join those because I just want to watch something without hearing a bunch of just go, Oh my god, he did this. <laughs> there he <is>. okay <laughs> okay we can he's put i want to cut this to you <laughs> cut your curses the uh film i want to kind of okay this is kind of a bad thing to say in a way i only really want to watch because everyone apparently likes it other than you know people that like good films is godzilla king of monsters um because it's only one i'm not seen. The latest Godzilla. I think, isn't it Godzilla vs. Kong, Kong? Skull Island and Gongzilla. I literally... Gongz. <laughs> <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> oh my god. I want to say something, but I can't. Um, yeah, so I've watched Godzilla vs. Kong. I can... If you want, we can do a video on it. But yeah, so this is us just discussing, like, you know, what we're going to do now. If you want, we can do a video Ooh, on it. But, that is a film yeah. I do want to talk about. Um, I... And Kong Skull Island, I've watched those two. I have not watched Godzilla. I've not watched Godzilla King of Monsters. No, I want to watch the latest. Oh, I've only not. For the sake all of... I know is that like... all I know is that Millie Bobby Brown's in it, and she's just she is in stream. We will probably watch that, people. Um, it's called I, I want to. Uh, it's a t- Robert Pattinson film. I actually kind of want to do almost like a Robert Pattinson filmography. Robert Pattinson, sorry. Um, did you know? Start your seven-day free trial. Watch with Mubi. You can watch High Life. That's probably how we'll be doing it. Buy or rent. There you go. Um, this video is supported by nothing because we don't have anything. Like well, you know, <laughs> link below if you want to watch through Prime. That's our only link we have. Um, yeah. Other than that. Legally. Uh, well, it's an affiliate. It's an associate's link. So it's, um, what else have we got? Yeah. I'm seeing on what's coming to Prime at the moment. Um, what's new on Netflix? Because I don't have Netflix on my phone. Spider-Man um, Far From Home has just joined Netflix. We've got Hobbs and Shaw joining at the beginning of oh, next month. We will be doing, whenever the hell it comes out, we will be doing a Spider-Man No Way Home trailer reaction as well. That's been hyped up so much. It is. That's, so, that's, uh, that's a multiverse film. It must be. Because they've li- literally, everything MCU at the moment, Doctor Strange, Loki, One Division, it's all been multiverse linked and connected. And Kevin Feige's even said that there's links between that and the One Division and Doctor Strange multiverse of Madness show. And look. not only that, but it's the only way Sony can not only redeem its past Spider Man incarnations, but this present one. Like even further. Yeah. I mean oh, we will probably be doing a um the Tomorrow War is that one. Black Widow, we might do a uh, where will that be? Disney Plus. And it'll be theaters. so. Uh, I want to see it in the cinema, mm-hmm. so I'll probably be watching it in the cinema the day it comes out. However, mm-hmm. um, it will on that day it does release, which is July 9th, I want to say. It will also be premier access on Disney Plus, so which sadly will have to be paid for, but literally 90 days post that release, it's on there for free, which I calculated um, to be the 7th of October, I think. Right. So we'll probably do that. Um, Jungle Cruise. I'm not necessarily is that picking. With Dwayne John- is that I'm... with The Rock? Yeah, 22nd of July. Yeah. There's a couple that we can react to. Um, we're not. I'm not necessarily doing films I, l- I would love to see, but purely because they are coming out l- soon. The Green Knight, which is a um, film by David Lowry, starring uh, what's what uh, Dev Patel, I think. Um, yeah. Oh, Alicia Vikander's in it. And um, Erin Kellyman, who is in Falcon and Winter Soldier. Is in Green Knight. Um, hold on, let me just find out. Movies and TV shows. In Falcon and Winter Soldier, what was your... You were the main um, villain. You were, Yeah, you were Carly in Falcon and Winter Soldier. Carly, Morgan Fowl. Yeah. I didn't know if I liked it too much. She had too many friends. <laughs> is that a villainous feature <laughs> no it's a re- it's a it's a nerdy feature it's a nerdy feature <laughs> I'm, jo- I'm joking guys you can have as many freckles as you want I actually think they're cute 
<laughs> you jump from one to the other. So okay. we've got those to react to. We'll probably... I don't know how we'll structure it in terms of like, whether they're going to come after Loki or not. We've got three episodes left of Loki, depending on when you're watching this. But I think are there six total. So four more episodes of Loki. So you've got three, four, five, six. And that will be coming out from yeah. this so Wednesday. Like three on. more left, hopefully. Wednesday 23rd. Yeah. So hopefully you enjoyed Loki. Tell us what you think of, of uh, Loki in the comments because we've hopefully, we've not seen it yet as we're recording this, but hopefully you have. And um, unless I get miraculously get this up before, um, you know, the 23rd, I doubt it. Um, I think that's enough rambling though for episode one. Well, just not even an episode one. This is just the first off topic. Ollie will not be as melodramatically pissed off this time <laughs> next time um as you, as you can see in his face he's just done with a night of technical difficulties uh, that i've had to remote access a few I times and it's just oh you have not <laughs> who is it that ultimately sorted out in the end it's a bitch well I... after i managed see you later, to guys <laughs> but yeah that's it um i'm done uh, <laughs> i'm done um We'll see you in Endgame, probably, or in Loki Part 4. So, um, yeah. Part 3? Can you not count? When they're watching this, though. This will most likely be out the week beginning, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th. Yeah, probably the 28th, 27th or the 28th, most likely. So, not Um, today, next week. A week today, probably. Yeah, so it, there'll be wait, wait, there'll be a waiting when can, loop. When, it depends when I have the time to edit all of this. You know what? Too. Fuck it. We'll get this out when we get this out. All right. I'll see you later, guys. <laughs> we will get Hold it out when we get it out. Patrick, close the video. You see you next Tuesday. <laughs> well, well, we'll get it out when we get it out. But um, whilst Ollie tries to maintain that smile, yes, everyone, thank you for watching this random first episode of Off Topic. They're not necessarily going to be numbered, but it's part of an off-topic playlist where we ramble about stuff and what we were actually going to be originally doing on podcasts, but we got topics. Sure, like Barbie from Toy Story 2. Then stop, a, like... Uh, <laughs> hurry up and close the video, stop. you sugar honey ice tea. So, again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. See you guys. Still recording. <laughs>